The United Nations Committee on Human Rights Against Torture has finally confirmed that indeed in Uganda there is torture and abductions of citizens going on. That and much more is coming up in this update. Well, for all the latest updates in the current affairs and uh, the entertainment industry, I told you that the Bazuji got you covered. A very good morning. My name is Mel Milo, aka Fula, and uh, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, CMY has finally arrested the driver of a UPDF vehicle who shot and killed a border border rider at Kawanda SS yesterday after they both had a misunderstanding. Luke Oesujire, the deputy police spokesperson, Kampala Metropolitan, has confirmed the arrest of this guy, identified as Abdul Salih. The deceased left behind a family of nine members, uh, that is uh, eight children plus their mother. You can imagine who is going to take care of all these people. Well, very many people have condemned this action and others seem to suggest that self-entitlement is paving way for gun violence and hatred in our country. This is so sad. May his soul rest in peace. Well, another Bobby Wine supporter identified as Haruna Badru has been abducted from Kawala by people believed to be security operatives. Well, it's reported that this gentleman is an uncle to a very outspoken Yekolera and uh, they abducted him mostly to reveal the whereabouts of Yekolera, who is badly wanted by these abductors. Well, Haruna Badru was a staff at Pal FM Uganda and uh, he's the latest person to be abducted. Well, it should be remembered that Bobby Wine's bodyguard, Jamshid Kavuma, is still missing and up to now, Uganda police and the military haven't communicated anything regarding this matter. Yesterday, his death rumors were all over social media, but at least we don't have an official communication that Kavuma is dead. You never know, he's still alive. Well, that is the situation in the NUP, Bobby Wine's camp, but reports indicate that uh, uh, Yekolera is hiding as the abductors in President Museveni's government are busy looking for him left, right and center. The UN Committee on Human Rights Against Torture has finally released their report on Uganda, insisting that torture is widely spread in Uganda. The report read by Cloud Heller, the chairperson of the committee, wants the perpetrators of torture in Uganda investigated and uh, prosecuted. This report comes two weeks after the Attorney General Chirio Wachuanuka revealed to the committee that in Uganda there is no torture and abductions going on. Well, there you go. Now that uh, the UN Committee on Human Rights Against Torture has confirmed that indeed in Uganda there is torture and abductions of citizens going on, we hope that something is done to change the situation. Well, that's the latest update I have for you right now on uh, the Buzz UG. And you know it very well that my part is to bring you the information and your part is to subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller, and uh, it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.